Hello, I'm Joel Hargis with the Florida Aviation Network. We are here at Sun and Fun 2022, the 48th annual show. And it's, it's been a great time this week. I tell you what, I'm, I wanna get right to it. I am really excited to be sitting with this group of people from one of my favorite places on the planet, the Bahamas. Hey, Joel. <laughs> hey. Guys, thanks for coming. Uh, let's just start off, because we got quite a dais with us here, a, a very impressive folks from over there. And let's just start one by one, just to introduce yourselves, if you would, please. My name is Latia Duncan, Acting Director General with the Bahamas Ministry of Tourism, Investments, and Aviation. My name is Randy, Senator Randy Rowe, uh, Global Relations uh, Consultant with the Ministry of Tourism. Good morning, my name is Shavonia McBride, Senior Project Manager and Investment Supervisor at the Ministry for Grand Bahama, representing the Minister of Grand Bahama, the Honorable Ginger Moxie. So, like I say, that's pretty impressive. We've got a senator in her representing the minister. Uh, you guys make me nervous a little bit. <laughs> if I hadn't got the chance to sit down and talk to you a little bit, these guys are great folks. And uh, as I was telling them, I've been to the islands many, many times, um, but things have changed, right? And the, I mean, this darn COVID nonsense and international travel, and there's just been so many challenges with all that. Uh, how is that a, well, let me, and I, you guys answer whoever's best to answer my questions. <laughs> I, I'm not sure I know. But so how's that affected you and how have you come through it and where are you today? Okay, well, I guess, team, I'll take this one. If we look at COVID, you know, it came and general aviation, the skies were cleared, every, everything stopped. It stopped worldwide. But what we did in the Bahamas, we used it as an opportunity to pivot, to showcase the Bahamas virtually. Uh. And so our content was already created. Our Bahamas.com website was active and you could actually go through and scroll and see the 16 island destinations with amazing authentic experiences. So as we started to rebound and recover from COVID, with all the pent up demand, we, our visitors packed our bags and they were on their way. We're also very focused on health and safety so that we kept adapting the protocols as necessary, as required, to make sure both our visitors were safe and also our locals were also safe. Right now the CDC level is a level two. So it is safe to come and enjoy the islands of the Bahamas with focus on Grand Bahama. And so how tight are your mask rules these days and um, what would visitors expect to, to, to adhere to? I mean, do they have to be vaccinated? Do they have to wear a mask? I mean, that, those are the questions I would be asking. Not a problem. So do you need to be vaccinated to come to the Bahamas? No. There are entry protocols that allow a non-vaccinated person to enter. Okay. Is there a mask mandate in place? Yes, at specific points and purposes. For example, if you're staying at the hotel resort, you do not have to wear a mask as a visitor. If you're on the outside on the beach, you do not have to wear the mask. But when you go beyond the resort, then yes, we'd like for you to put on the mask. Okay. So we keep you safe in all spaces. Well, and, and that's understandable. And mm -hmm. most people are at a resort or the beach. I exactly. Mean, all right, mm -hmm. that's, mm -hmm. that's where you are. So, so the message is you're open for business. Absolutely, positively, and, we're open for business. And my bet is there was a bunch of pent-up demand, right? There was, there certainly was. Busy, busy right now? Extremely busy, but you know, in, in, when we look at being busy, and when we look at getting to the destination, I'm gonna have my senator on the side of me speak to her a bit more about what we're doing about our airports, because this is a private airline show, and we want to make sure that everyone is comfortable and know some of the things that we're doing at the destination as it relates to our airports. Senator? Thank you very much, Director General. Now, for a lot of persons, and you talked about being locked down, and the pandemic. Uh, what we've realized and discovered is that the pandemic has also allowed a lot of people to save monies. And mm -hmm. so what we want to do is we want now that money that you've saved over the period, now come and spend it in the Bahamas. <laughs> uh, certainly for many visitors, our logistics is super important. Sure. And so the logistics of getting to the islands 
are, are very, very easy. Certainly, we're focusing on Grand Bahama, which is, uh, I think, two nautical miles closer than that of going to West Palm Beach. And so, and, you know, and, it's... And Senator, just for sure. people that Caribbean geography may not be really good, mm -hmm. <laughs> which island, what, what cities would be on Grand Bahama for those who may not know? So, you know, so I know, but, but I don't know that they know. Okay, well, well, again, Grand Bahama, there, it's a city, Grand Bahama. Freeport. Freeport, Freeport. So Freeport is the main city. It's the main city. We don't use Freeport as much, but Grand Bahama, because again, it's, uh, it's so much the logistics for it, because it's, ship, it's good for shipping uh, logistics-wise, uh, but the airport is, like I said, close. We've been doing some work there. We've just uh, recently put on an RFP, and so we're making it into a world-class airport. And so it's easy to get to, it's convenient. Uh, we uh, have been attracting a lot of international airlines. And so we're gonna do what it takes to make sure that, again, the logistics is good and, and you're comfortable uh, once you get there. And you can, you can fly regular commercial airlines into there as well as general aviation aircraft, right? Fly right in. Correct. There. Correct. And so, I, like I say, I'm familiar with Grand Bahama. I, we used to go into West End on a liveaboard dive boat and dove all the way there's some blue holes off of there it's pretty nice um so yeah so and and the airport so um i think it's probably you to speak to flying into the bahamas what kind of documentation would a pilot and passengers need to um well again like i said it's so convenient and, and that's one of the reasons why we have our team here today at the show and so if you're gonna, uh, if anyone is available and you pass by a boots, we have a number of friendly staff members that will be able to lay out the entire plan for you. Uh, we have the uh, information that's right there. Uh, we have a lot of persons who come on their private uh, planes. Right. And so again, too, we're about logistics. We're about convenience. We're about making it easy. And, and certainly you're going to have that. We, we've discarded the red tape. And, and we roll out a red carpet for you. And so, you know, we and just And Bahamas hospitality is awesome, folks. <laughs> Most Thank don't you. Let me, yeah, oh, it is, it's, it's fantastic. Uh, and then, you know, and then so we have Shivanya here also, who's from the Ministry of Grand Bahama. And so once we make the logistics of getting there easy, uh, Shivanya can tell you what all you can do there and what all uh, are the other well, offerings well, that we have for you. Before we go there, okay. I, I, I want to share, I mean, I flew over there about three years ago for my daughter's wedding, and we went into Exuma. Mm -hmm. And as I remember, I downloaded the paperwork yes. off of your website. Yes, correct. And mm -hmm. I filled that all out. Mm -hmm. And I, I want to say I pre-submitted some of that, because when I remember getting there, they're like, oh, yeah, Mr. Hargis. And I was through Immigration and Customs like that. I'm sure that still exists. Most yeah. definitely. We also have pre-clearance. And so, again, right. too, that's a very, I very that's what convenient I did. Uh, thing for, for travelers. You, once you pre-clear in the Bahamas and you're back, you know, it's smooth sailing. And so, again, it's about convenience. But, and that's what I wanted to point out. Like I say, had some experience, it filled it out, sent it in, and when I got there, they knew they were sitting there waiting on me. Absolutely. Right? And it, that's, that makes and you feel we good, are right? still waiting on you. <laughs> <laughs> These guys have twisted my arm hard to go back. I'm telling you what. I, but I, I want to share, you know, we're focusing a lot on Grand Bahama, on the island of Grand Bahama. Mm -hmm. Before COVID, we had the hurricanes. Uh, and for a moment, yeah. Grand Bahama was devastated. devastated. However, fast forward to where we are today. We are open and booming and, and business is great. So I want to have um, Ms. McBride share a bit about Grand Bahama and, and some of the things that we offer and what we do in Grand Bahama. Hi, good morning. So before we go there, I just wanted to piggyback off of what the, actor, the acting director general said. We had to pivot um, during the pandemic and so we made forms available online through our online portal so that when pilots come in they can be pre-cleared they would know and expect you you know to show up at the airport so that was one of the areas that we would have pivoted and then to speak to what senator had said um our booth is in hangar d 
It's okay. it's number 20 and 21. And so if uh, if pilots want to come and visit our booth, we have staff that's readily available. They have all the relevant information. Um, they can sign up on our iPad so we can stay in direct contact with you and help them along with the process. But to speak to Grand Bahama specifically, yes, we did go through Hurricane Dorian and then immediately after was the pandemic and it was devastated, but we are a resilient people. The Bahamas at large and Grand Bahamians because we've had a number of hurricanes back to back, specifically in Grand Bahama. And so our people are very resilient. Um, immediately the day after, you know, we just... We just went into restoration mode, and we did have a lot of private pilots that flew in that contributed. We had organizations, nonprofit organizations, and so from day one, the airport was open. Our air traffic controllers and all of our operations was on the ground, and so we welcomed pilots and, and aircrafts in, of course, with relief items, and... It, it became an, another booming industry at that time. I think that began the increase for us with the private aviation sector. Um, but Grand Bahama is definitely open for business. Um, we at the Ministry for Grand Bahama, we have a number of initiatives that we are putting in place and we have a number of new tours to add to the tours that already exist. So it's definitely going to be a big cultural experience for you when you come. There's, there's diving, and you would know because you've experienced it. Um, there's our cultural villages. There is fishing. Uh, there's a number of items. You can do a lot, or you can do absolutely nothing at all. It just depends on what you come to Grand Bahama for. And so we are definitely open for business. We welcome you to our shores and our island. And like Director General says, two words for this trip, Grand Bahama. Well, and you know what? I apologize because I, when I saw that you were promoting Grand Bahama, I had forgotten that devastating hurricane. Yes. And and now that now and and I so I apologize because no, not a I mean problem. it's very close to my heart. I've I've been to West End and Freeport many many times, and oh my heart just was just sank when when that happened. So I, I will tell you on, on your behalf, gosh, I know there were so many Americans or, or people from all over the world that watched this. You know, remember back then when they needed our help? Well, and, and there's only so much you can do then. But now they're open and all they need is you to come and visit. They need you to come and visit. And that's why the push is. And, and God, I would just really implore to the, to the aviation community and anybody, you know, that, that's ever been or wanted to go, but this would be a great time to help you guys get back on your feet in Grand Bahama because the thing I like about, so Freeport's kind of a city, yes. but other than that, nah, not so much. It's more rural, which I like personally again it depends on what you come to Grand Bahama for so we have the West End and we also have East End and so we cater to all niche markets and it's it's definitely whatever you come to the island for you can have the actual island vibe or you can get a city vibe right so to make it easy for everyone on our website Bahamas.com it actually shows the experiences that you can enjoy on Grand Bahama the restaurants the activities we've even taken it a step further we can help you build your itinerary based on what you want to do, so we cool. do that. Or we have a people-to-people -people program where we look at your profile and the pro profile of a native, and we actually match you with a Bahamian family for that unique Bahamian experiences. No kidding. Bahamas.com, we do it all, from completing the paperwork to completing your visitor experience mm -hmm. To enjoying that our native awesome. cultural <laughs> festivals, experiences. Oh, that sounds real. Because absolutely, when I travel, that's what I love to do. I mean, when I travel, I like to meet the locals. Yeah. And not not the tourist stuff. The uh, locals. And Joel, we believe in relationships. Mm -hmm. uh, we are a country that's about building relationships, and that's why, as a country, we were able to rebuild so fast. Because people who would have, like yourself, who would have gone there over the years, uh, you're not just going to see new things, you're going because you've made friends. Oh. And so those friends outlast 
anything. Oh yeah, I mean, my experience was mostly in the '80s. So I, I, I and I, back then I knew a lot of guys. Hey man, how you doing? And and it, and it is about relationships, and mm -hmm. you, there isn't a friendlier place on earth. I don't think. You Thank, guys you. Are, Thank you. Well, you just laid back, and and it's it's that island experience, and it's safe, and you know your crime there is almost null. It, you know, it's that's that's fantastic, um, and like I say, I've had so many. Exper I was telling you about going to Nicholstown and <laughs> going into Zodiac to get fresh made bread every morning and having my birthday party at Mrs. Riley's with crack cock and pigeon peas. <laughs> and I mean, I remember those two ladies like yesterday, and, and and that's. I mean, they treated God. They treated us so good. And, and so now there's a program where you can get hooked up with Absolutely. a bohemian family yes. and hang out and oh that that's really really awesome that's the one thing that sets us apart the warmth of our people we are a warm hospitable people so we want to show you the Bahamas the bohemian way so and I and I'm all about promoting Grand Bahama and getting them back on their feet but I would be remiss for you not, and I think you're the one that does this, but I mean from Walker's K through, you know, clear down to the Exumas and KSAL, there's the diversity. Can you speak to that a little bit? Because, you know, maybe people have, don't want to go for Grand Bahama for whatever reason, which I, again, wholly encourage people to do. Talk about so, the diversity of your 16 islands. So when we look at the Bahamas and the diversity of the 16 islands, mm -hmm. it depends on what you want to experience and what you want to explore. Mm -hmm. And our Bahamas.com website actually takes you through each of the 16 islands. You're able to see and experience the tours virtually. So if you want a down-home fun festival meal, you have that. If you want to enjoy nature-based activities, you have that too. If you want something that's authentic, that's festive, it's festive. if you want to feel junk and you'll feel the music, feel the beat, we have that as well. So whether you want to go to Abaco, Exuma, Andres, Cat Island, Inagua, we are here and we have a pure representation in each of the islands. One thing I will say and I will share is that our people are the same across every island. Yes. The cultural, authentic experiences, they're unique, but they're memorable. You will always oh. remember you will always return, and there is something for everyone to do. So if you don't want your cell phones, if you just want to relax and enjoy <laughs> nature-based activities, flats, flats fishing, bone fishing, we have Scuba that Scuba diving, come on. Scuba, Scuba diving, diving. Yes. Swimming, with the fantastic. swimming with the pigs, swimming enjoying with the, pigs. the beach banks, we have it all. Do you guys have a carnival down there? Or a, 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 it's got a festival season, don't you? Yes, we do. When? We do. It's John Canoe, and then we've had Carnival pre-COVID as well. Yes. Okay. So, so John Canoe, and again, to the Director General, could speak to this some more. Uh, it, it's our culture, cultural event. John and, Canoe. Yes, John Canoe. Canoe. And the Ministry of Tourism has designed programs where at one time you would only be able to get it during the Christmas holidays or New Year's, but through our partnerships and the Ministry of Tourism, you can actually enjoy John Canoe in June, mm -hmm. July, summer festival. Mm -hmm. And so we always try to create something around our culture so that whenever you come to the Bahamas, you're going to be certain to enjoy yourself year round. See, and I think, I think a lot of people travel just for that, right? Yes. For that festival experience um, that's unique to the it, Bahamas. It, it absolutely is. And you know, we've taken it a step further. So you can come and participate or watch, or you can learn how to do it. So you can learn and you can you can learn how to beat boats and drums. Or something? It is, is and it? you know, it's based on the rhythm. Uh -huh. So you have to hear the rhythm, <laughs> and then you move based on the rhythm. So if you want to learn how to paste costumes, if you want to hear about the history and how we came to be and how we started it, if you want to just rush and enjoy it, you certainly can. And most of our hotels. Um, one night per week, actually have a small parade that a lot of the visitors come and enjoy. It's amazing. I will tell you, 16 island destination, you can never get tired. By the time you've visited all 16 islands, there are rocks and keys that you've not touched yet. Right. 700 <laughs> islands mm -hmm. and keys right. are what we represent. 
in the islands, islands of, of the Bahamas. Bahamas. And Shavonia has a surprise for you. Tell them, Shavonia. <laughs> we're, we're real close on time. So okay, so Grand, ba Grand Bahama is the events and entertainment capital of the Bahamas, the home of innovation and maritime and logistics. And so we want to welcome all of our pilots to our air show for 2023. Really? Yes, yeah, so definitely stay tuned to our Bahamas.com website and we will definitely have updates for you there. Well, gosh, you got me excited. I, I, I'm, I'm we a, hope to see I'm a, you. I'm, I'm thinking a little junk canoe. We will I, I have junk canoe. To, I've never learned that. We will oh, have junk canoe. No, I've, I've I'll some. have a costume for you too. Oh, <laughs> a costume. Just remember, it's better in the Bahamas. It's better, better in the Bahamas. Bahamas. And two words, two words from today. Yeah. Grand Bahama. Grand Bahama. Grand Bahama. Bahama. And that's Grand right. Bahama. That's what you should do. So as we sign off here, again, I'm Joel Hargis with the Florida Aviation Network, here with these great folks from the Bahamas. Grand Bahama has gone through so much. They need your help. And, and go down there and enjoy it. I mean, why wouldn't you uh, do a really good thing and have the time of your life? Joel Hargis, Florida Aviation Network, here at Sun and Fun 2022.